Well, good afternoon. Today we are here in Tranquility, uh, standing above the cupola to formally open the cupola for use by other crews uh, that will be here up on the space station. And uh, arguably, mankind has been after this view for centuries, uh, this perspective, this view of the world. And uh, we finally have it, and we are going to, uh, to take advantage and enjoy it. And uh, we on the station crew are especially happy to get this, uh, uh, to be able to enjoy it. It's a, I know for me personally, it's a milestone uh, that I will remember uh, for the rest of my life uh, in terms of the experience on the station because it culminates so much. It culminates a, just a beautiful view, a window on the world that we haven't had before. It uh, culminates uh, the, the, just about the assembly completed of the space station getting us to full capability. So this cupola uh, means a, a whole lot. Uh, we uh, also want to take this um, a moment to uh, to remember um, a friend and a co-worker and fellow astronaut, Lacey Beach, uh, who dedicated um, uh, was really de dedicated to the early development of the cupola and its vision uh, on the International Space Station. Um, and we would like to uh, to leave his path uh, in uh, memory of him. And, um, and dedicated to him, as well as a picture on board the space station. The patch will be in the cupola, and the um, and the photograph of Lacey will go up on the uh, airlock hatch. We also have one more item to put in the cupola today. These are some moon rocks uh, that were picked up on Apollo 11 and returned to Earth, and uh, later carried to the summit of Mount Everest by Scott Berezinski. And so these moon rocks have had quite a journey, and they will continue their journey for uh, thousands and millions of miles uh, in a very short amount of time. Uh, they will be placed in the cupola as a uh, reminder of uh, man's reach and man's grit as they go out and explore. So with that, George, how about if you uh, cut the ribbon? Sure. And here we go, the cupola is open for business. All right. All right, everybody. Let's take a look. This is Mission Control Houston. Station Commander Jeff Williams and Shuttle Commander George Zamka have dedicated the cupola and opened it up for business for each of the crew members, 11 crew members on board, to fly in and take a look out the windows. The station and shuttle complex is orbiting 220 statute miles above the South Pacific Ocean. as the crew members uh, take a look.
As we continue to watch the crew members uh, look through the cupola window, Station Commander Jeff Williams had indicated uh, that the cupola was being dedicated to uh, astronaut Charles uh, Lacey Beach. He uh, was selected as an astronaut in May of 1984 and died in Houston in 1995 of cancer. That concludes the uh, formal ceremony. Thank you very much, Jeff. And uh, we weren't around when they uh, were at uh, Promontory, Utah, to drive in the final spike at the uh, Intercontinental Railroad. And none of us were able to be there when they switched on the dynamos at the Hoover Dam. And we weren't around when they topped out the steel on the Empire State Building. But I think I speak for the whole flight control team in Houston and the flight control teams around the world that we're really pleased to be in work in the last two weeks when we attach the final module to the U.S. segment and the one million pound space station uh, and that was built by thousands of people around the world. So we only wish that we could be up there with you now. And we share those sentiments as well, Hal, and uh, um, our uh, gratitude, uh, our tremendous gratitude goes out to the entire international partnership and teams, like you said, around the world that make this thing possible. It's something that everybody is um, a part of, a uh, very unique uh, uh, piece of history, um, and we are all honored to uh, uh, to be part of it, and we, uh, uh, we want to recognize the many people um, on those teams, not only the op centers, which we've really enjoyed working with the last uh, 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 week and a half or so. Uh, you guys have been tremendous, and we thank you for that. And we also thank the people that uh, are behind the scenes and the engineering teams and the design centers around the world uh, doing the real-time support and operations and working through the problems and issues, which you, you do very well. That's uh, what we're best at when we, work, uh, when we run into the unexpected uh, and work through them and uh, our congratulations to everybody and our hats off to everybody. Thank you for your service to uh, uh, to humankind and, and and congratulations on being part of this uh, this history in the making. Great words, Jeff. The Expedition 22 and STS-130 crews have inaugurated the use of the cupola on board the International Space Station as the complex is orbiting 220 statute miles above the South Pacific, now passing into an orbital sunset. 